Alright guys, so we've got the toaster oven. Um, we're gonna, we've put a fan in it. Yep. World's worst Chinese 60 mil fan. With the world's most badly drilled hole. It's not that bad. Could have been worse. Done. So uh, walk us through the components we've got in here, Don. Raspberry Pi Zero W, the wireless one. Solid state relay, quite a small little one from Crydom. 12 volt mains to 12 volt power supply. 12 volt to 5 volt variable step down converter. DC to DC. And a max 6675K. Yeah. Um, uh, that's thermal it. couple module. Yeah, all the thermal couple. Thermal couple is jangled in the hole. Solid state relay is turning the heaters on. Yeah, which it's not connected because it's quite short. And we've got this little reversing camera monitor to see how terrible it was. See if you can fire that screw straight into that main socket, Dom. Mind your eyes. No. Went away that far. Oh, well, there you go. Let's uh, get it assembled and we'll show you it tripping the breaker. It's half past one in the morning. And we've got it fucking done. It's ready to go. It looks really good. It doesn't look bad. Look at the side. It looks untouched, unmolested. You've got a fan at the back. Look at that flickering display. Oh, so it looks, looks good on the camera, camera. yeah. But yeah, um, it's good to go. We've got... The internal thermocouple is at the back, and then we've just got another for reference. The one that's connected to this meter is the one with capped on tape on it. And they're both in about the same place. And they're both reading within two or three degrees of each other. Yeah, if we got 27, 27. So, um, we're going to do a little bit of a reflow. Yeah, uh, you hit you hit start five. on the touch screen, Dom. There we go. It's running Chrome on literally the worst browser in the world. Just You're going to have to move the cursor down. There we go. So starting the run. Oh, that's nice. So you can control it from the other one and it updates on. Mm. So you can see the heating elements are starting to glow. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We've got about 30 degrees in the toaster so house. We kept the, the um, this is the timing control, so the timer still functions. So, for example, if we know it's doing a 15 minute run, well, that's high. Say it's doing a six minute run, obviously, we want to just make sure if we're going to leave it unintended that it's actually going to go off, we can set that to 10 minutes so it will actually isolate after 10 minutes. Yeah, and the pie will stay running, that just does the heater. The temperature control doesn't do anything yeah. there now. No, the temperature control just like eating much We shit. could do like a program select and click it into start or something with that if we got really bored. Well, to re-encode That's yeah. um, It's not following it too badly considering we've not done any tuning to it. So we're just putting a little zip socket on a board we've just pasted up. No real stencils, we just used two bits of capped on tape and squeegeed some, squeegeed some soles straight in there. And Dom was just trying to position it. Got it loaded in, got the thermocouple, control thermocouple on. Let's reflow it. External thermocouple here as well, just for reference. Close that nice, gently. Lovely. Time to go. Start the process, Dom. Are in the screen flicker? So the run's finished. Uh, the ramp up, not too bad. A little bit of overshooting. Could do with tuning a little bit better, but it's not far off. The um, ramp down's awful because we've basically got no means of cooling it apart from just opening the door and turning a fan on. And you just see the results in there. All of the pins are completely bridged to fuck, so. Um, complete and out of failure. We've just pasted up this board as you can see. Um, components aren't that straight but they usually talk themselves out in the oven. So let's whack it in and try it. 
Right, so we've got the board in there, and um, I'm using another board as the control because there's not quite enough space to tape the thermocouple onto that. So this should do all right. So we'll uh, carefully close the door, turn the heater on, and click the start button. So because this doesn't have any cooling uh, about now, we have to carefully not move any of the components, open the door. And that should drop back off. Still very hot, but you should be able to see the solders all nice and shiny in there now. So we'll take that out when it's cooled down and give it an inspection. So you can see this came out alright. The uh Resistors and the caps around here all look pretty good. These diodes look pretty good. That transistor's a little bit wonky. I don't think I put enough paste on that pin there. It's not quite flowed right. The rest of it's not too bad though. That one's a little bit wonky, that uh, JFET. The rest of it looks alright. Uh, I paste this by hand, so it's a little bit inconsistent. You can see there's loads of solder on one side of this and not very much on the other. So I want to try, um, try doing a stencil next. I'll give that a go, but yeah, success.